Today is another milestone in, in moving forward to help the people of this devastated area recover. We want to get the word out for people to, first of all, register with FEMA. We cannot help you unless you register with FEMA. Secondly, it's important for everyone to get that right of entry form back into the community so we can get the properties cleared off and prepare them for the reconstruction that will come and take place. So we want to get that message out to all of the citizens who have been impacted by this. This week we received notification from the uh, National Office of the American Institute of Architects that the uh, request for assistance for a design assistance team from AIA National uh, has been accepted. I've spoken uh, earlier this week with a representative of that office in Washington and they uh, anticipate that they will be uh, identifying the team leader for the design assistance team within the next one to two weeks. And uh, the uh, Birmingham chapter of the American Institute of Architects is uh, in the process of preparing a briefing document for that team leader. And after the team leader is uh, uh, determined and uh, has accepted it, has accepted the position because it is a volunteer position, then he will take the briefing document and determine uh, the types of design professionals uh, that he will be recruiting for the, the team. The team will have eight to ten uh, persons on it. It could be architects, could be uh, city planners, it could be landscape, landscape architects. It depends upon what the needs of the community are in the replanning efforts. Then uh, also as well, there will be a, a pre-visit uh, before the actual entire team uh, arrives here in Pratt City and in Birmingham. Um, after that time, uh, about a month later, there will be the actual uh, visit of the design assistance team uh, when, the, when the work will actually be done. And it will be done uh, in concert with uh, city officials, local volunteers, local businesses, and um, clearly the, the representatives of the neighborhood and the citizens of Birmingham and the city area. Good morning. I'm Albie Lewis. And uh, what today means is it was an opportunity for the mayor to reach out to the citizens uh, right here in Birmingham on uh, the deadline for registering, which is so, so very important. It was also an important deadline for uh, getting the registrations uh, for entering onto the property property, that right of entry, that's incredibly important. And there was also an opportunity to talk a little bit about the long-term community recovery, which I personally have a, a part of in my role, as well as my team members who are here who are going to work with AIA, we're going to partner with them on the long-term community recovery. So it's a wonderful opportunity. And you're with FEMA. And I am North Brad. Today was a very important and significant day to the growth of the new community. And we're looking forward to it, and we're, we're working with the mayor, and we're looking at his vision, not our vision. So we are very excited about it, and we, we're going to add to the mix, too, because we got some things that we want to see done beyond just the masterpiece. Very glad to have the mayor come out and try to give some reassurance to the residents, because we've been very, very worried that we weren't getting the right information, and people are getting several in other places and will leave Pratt City. So uh, we, we've been working really hard trying to convince them to wait, but some of them uh, are just skeptical. So we were glad to, that he came on, that he uh, emphasized the right of entry because uh, and and he said that it was free and that had not been the, the message that had been given out before so we are glad and and, and hopefully this will help in our work to keep the press together